Sorry, I didn't have time to do my recap yesterday, so let's go ahead and do that now. We are recapping the hearing that Naresh Bhatt had yesterday, September 5th, 2024. Um, this is his first hearing since his case got moved up from district court to circuit court. He was in juvenile and domestic relations court. Now we are upstairs in circuit court, so that means a new set of judges. So we have a new judge. It was uh, Judge Carol A. Weimer Jr. Junior, and he was already fed up with like everything. So he was like telling the spectators to, to be quiet. Um, I was not with, you know, the main groups yesterday. So I did not realize I did find out on the news that um, Mamta's mother and brother were in attendance. So that was confirmed. Uh, but like I said, I just I was kind of on my own. Naresh came in and he looks different. This is the closest I've been to him, um, but he has gotten a haircut, he's growing a beard, and he looks like he's lost a decent amount of weight since being in jail for the past couple weeks. He was wearing his orange jail jumpsuit and had ankle shackles, though his um, wrists were free. He had a new attorney from the public defender's office, a Miss Lennox. Uh, this is somebody who works with Mr. Ben Alverham, who is another senior attorney in the public defender's office. The defense had forgotten to ask for a, a Nepali interpreter for the hearing, which almost made the entire hearing get canceled um, because even though the defense said that they were comfortable moving forward, the judge was not. He said, listen, he's had an Nepali interpreter for every hearing in this case, and this is an important one because the reason we were there was because Naresh was waiving his right to a grand jury and proceeding directly to trial. Now, he had already waived his preliminary hearing. So with the waiver of the grand jury, like I said, I mean, that's as the defense was kind of putting it, was basically a de facto indictment. So they're saying, you know, let's just skip all of this stuff and go straight to trial because from what it sounds like, they believe that the prosecution was going to get an indictment um, in October. So they said, just let's not even do it. But that's a big deal. So um, obviously the judge like wanted to make sure Naresh knew what was going on. So the hearing got delayed. We were able to find an interpreter. Um, and so basically there are a couple of main issues. The prosecution didn't object to Naresh waiving uh, the grand jury, but they said, the prosecutor, Mr. Sweet, said that the defense was using this as a tactic in order to move the trial date up because Virginia has a speedy trial rule. And that rule states that within five months of an indictment or probable cause being found at a preliminary hearing that the trial needs to begin. And they were trying to argue that because he had actually waived both his preliminary hearing and his grand jury, that he actually wasn't indicted. And so he was also waiving his statutory rights to a speedy trial. Um, but the judge disagreed, said that, like I said, it was kind of a de facto indictment. So they were able to start the speedy trial clock or at least they would have been able to start the speedy trial clock if the prosecution defense could have agreed on a trial date. They could not. Everything got kicked to September 16th, and it'll be on September 16th. We'll be back. Mr. Ben Alverham will be back in court representing Naresh, and we will be hearing two motions. One is an ex parte judge uh, motion, which I'm not a lawyer, so I'm, uh, I need to figure out what that's about. I actually don't know, so if anybody d does know, please tell me. Um, but they're also going to be hearing a discovery motion. So we don't, I don't have any other details beyond that, but they did say in court yesterday, yesterday that it was a discovery motion. So in addition to those two motions, which were scheduled for September 13th, those are now going to be heard on the 16th and we will get a trial date. But based on the speedy trial law, um, we will be getting this trial at the end of January or the beginning of February 2025, which feels like it's a long time. But for a case um, that involves possible life in prison, it's 
really not. That's a very short period of time. And that's why the prosecution was trying to fight the speedy trial clock a little bit because they want more time to present the best case possible. The other thing that we learned is that um, the prosecution said that they are going to have witnesses from out of the country. They obviously didn't specify who, um, but that could mean Naresh's parents. So Naresh's parents have been out back in Nepal since May. Um, and they could be called as witnesses. We don't know yet. We won't find out for, you know, quite a while, but um, that is a possibility. So we are going to be in court next on September 16th, and that is when we will have the official trial date. But like I said, it is looking like the end of January, beginning of February. And let me know what other questions you have. Oh, also, I did go live from the park where they were doing the search, where I talked about the trial and kind of the searches that were going on yesterday. And so that entire live will be uploaded on my YouTube.